we start with a point cloud we didn't have any surfaces and so on but now we can actually like reconstruct the surfaces by just using two algorithms or like one algorithm here from open3d it's basically just one line of code hey guys welcome to a new video in this point clouds and open3d tutorial in this video here we're going to do surface reconstruction so if you for example have a generated a point cloud you have an unstructured point cloud and you want to do surface reconstruction we can apply some different kind of algorithms that I'm going to show you in this video here. We're going to go through three different kind of algorithms that is implemented in Open3D. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server. I'll link to it down in the description here. You can join the channel, Jazz, Brow Computer Vision, Deep Learning, AI, and so on. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small amount of fee. Everything will go to create more and build the quality content here on the channel. So thank you guys. Also, if you have some problems in your own projects and applications, I can help you out and give you some guidance if you are a member of the channel. So first of all here, we're going to look at the point clouds here where we have actually like done this surface reconstruction as we're going to do at the end of this video here. But here we can see some of the results. We have a, a unstructured point cloud here to the left. So first of all, we have this uh, some kind of like bunny here at the top. We can see we have all these different kind of point clouds and then we can actually like do surface reconstruction where we're trying to apply this texture here on top of our point cloud. Down here at the bottom, we have this eagle we have this eagle where we have a point cloud and then we can do, do surface reconstruction with some different kind of algorithms we can see here at these images that results are actually like pretty good when we're creating our own point clouds we're also going to try to do surface reconstruction on that but in this video here we're just going to go through, uh, through some of these examples and then later on in other videos we can try to do it with our own point clouds and so on when we have these unstructured points and we actually want to create like some kind of environment or surfaces on top of our point clouds or like our points in our point clouds. So we're gonna jump straight into Jupyter Notebook here. I'm going to go through the example that is provided by Open4D and some of the examples that they have. So first of all here, we're just going to import different kind of like frameworks. We have Open3D, NumPy, Matplotlib, so we can actually like display what is going on. And so we're gonna just, we're going to run this block code as in all the other videos throughout the tutorial. If you want to know more details about how we can do operations on point clouds, make your own point clouds and so on and use it with Open3D, make sure to check the, the tutorial out. I've made a whole tutorial on Open3D, how we can go from like basic point cloud operations to do more complicated stuff but about doing post estimation and so on and the different kind of algorithms that is implemented in Open3D. But here we can see that we're now importing these different kind of um, modules. We can see that the Jupyter environment here is detected and we're enabling this Open3D visualizer so we can actually like visualize the different kind of things that we're going to do when we're going to reconstruct our surface on top of our point clouds. So down here we have three different kind of algorithms that we'll go through. We'll just go uh, a bit over them, talk about like the idea behind them and which are the best ones to use and so on. Uh, so here we have three different types here. We have the alpha shapes, we have the ball pivoting and then we have the Poisson surface reconstruction. We're going to go more into details with the Poisson surface reconstruction because this is the this is the newest one for doing surface reconstruction and it acts like really good results uh, that we get. It's just trying to do some optimization on and like it's just not trying to solve an optimization problem uh, with Poisson and, and differential equations and so on. So here we see that we have this 3D uh, dense point cloud where we want to create these triangle meshes. But if we, for example, have a multi-view stereo method where, or a depth sensor where we just get our unstructured points in our point cloud, then we can actually, like, then, then we don't have any information or we can't really construct our surface. We don't have a triangle mesh or so and so on. We can't reconstruct our environment. But when we're applying these methods here, we can actually like, create our own triangle meshes from our point clouds, our structure point clouds, and do surface reconstruction. So first of all here, we have these alpha shapes here. So we're just going to go through it, uh, go through shortly here what it, what it does. So it's, it's actually just a generalization of a convex hull. So how we're actually like defining the boundaries around a set of points. So here as described, we can intuitively think of the alpha shapes here as the following. Imagine a huge mass of ice cream containing the points S, so we have a set of points here that's called S as hard chocolate pieces. Using one of these here, here uh, form ice cream spoons, we carve all, 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 all out uh, the parts of the ice cream block uh, we can reach without bumping into chocolate pieces. So basically we're just going to take all, all, out all the ice cream without the, like, the chocolate pieces. And we know that all the points here in our, in our ice cream here is actually like our points from our point cloud. And then we can go down here and then we can actually crack, uh, carve out all these different kind of things. And eventually here we'll end up with the optic bound by caps, arcs, and points. If we now straighten all faces or like all round faces to triangle and line segments, then we have like a description of what is called alpha shapes. And then we can actually use these alpha shapes 
to do a surface reconstruction. So basically here we're just trying to find the points and then on top of the points we can create these triangles and line segments and then we can define from those triangles our, um, our triangle meshes and so on for doing surface reconstruction. So here we're just going to run these block codes. We'll go more into details with the Poisson reconstruction because it's more the nearest and, and the most used surface reconstruction method. So here we're just going to run this blob code. We can see that we're just going to get the bunny mesh here from the Open3D tutorials. So these are just like samples from OpenZV or like from Open3D. Then here we're just going to sample the points here from a Poisson distribution with 750 points. Then we're just going to draw our visualization. We're going to choose an alpha value, uh, which is a trade-off parameter down here for our alpha shapes. And then down here, we're just going to create this uh, from, create from point cloud alpha shape. So this is basically just the, the surface reconstruction method that is implemented up here, as we can see in the text. So here we're just going to run the blob code. We have already done it. It will come up here at the bottom. We can see we have these points here in our point clouds of our bunny. Uh, we have sampled 750 points. And then we want to actually like apply, when we hit ex exit here, we will actually like apply surface reconstruction, uh, the method implemented by OMBRI-D that we just went over. So here when we hit escape, we can see that we're now doing this surface reconstruction. We're trying to create this triangle mesh. So we see that all the points here with the ice cream example, with all the chocolate points, uh, or like all the chocolate pieces is the point. Then we're trying to carve our, uh, like carve, carve our, all the ice cream in between. Then we'll get the point triangles and then we just apply this triangle meshes here on top of our point clouds. So this is one example and we're going to go into more details with the voice on and so on. Uh, but down here we can actually just try different kind of alpha values and see how it actually like, um, affects the results with our triangle meshes. So here the implementation based on convex hull of a point cloud. So now we're using the convex hull is basically just the boundaries around a set of points. And if we want to compute multiple alpha shapes for a given point cloud, then we can save some computation by only computing the convex hull once and pass it to this function here that is implemented and that we just used. So here we're just going to run it. This is for one alpha value. When we hit escape here again, we, we just have another wealth alpha value here again. So we're just going to go through them and then we can look at the results later on. So here we have alpha value of 0.5. Here we have an alpha value of 0.5. Uh, 13 almost 14 we see we get a bit more details up here we don't have any details at all if we just keep increasing the alpha value we can see that we just get a better triangle mesh of our point cloud and then down here at the bottom if we choose a too low value of our alpha value then we can see we can't really relate the points anymore to each other because we're just carving out all the different kind of like chocolate pieces as we talked about with our set of points in our point cloud um so this is a trade-off parameter that you need to tune, you need to test it out if you want to use this alpha shapes um, algorithm here for doing surface reconstruction. The next method or algorithm here that we're going to look at is the ball pivoting. So here, this is a surface reconstruction method which is related to the alpha shapes. So we can think of the 3D ball with a given radius that drop onto our point cloud. If it hits any free point and it does not fall through these three points, it creates a triangle. So basically we just have, if we take the bonding sample, it will, we will just have all the points, then we try to drop a ball down on the point cloud. If it actually goes through it, or if it hits any three points and it doesn't go through them, then we can say that this is actually like a surface and we just create a, like a triangle um, on top of those three points or like we create a surface on those three points so we get a triangle mesh. And then we just kind of combine all of them so we can say that the more dense point cloud we have, like the, more, the closer our points are together in a point cloud, uh, the smaller the radius should be and the larger we have our points or like the further we have the point away from our uh, from each other in our point cloud the larger radius that we, uh, we want to use so here we can see that the diagram here starts with pivoting from the edges of the existing triangles and every time it hits three points where the ball does not fall through we create another triangle so we can see that this method here is just implemented in this function create from point cloud ball pivoting here the method accepts a list of radii as parameter uh, like as parameter that corresponds to the radii of the individual balls that are pivoted on the point cloud so this is basically just the radius that we want to specify inside of, uh, of our algorithm here so this method here it assumes that the point cloud has normals so all the other different kind of methods that we are going to implement here act like assumes that our point cloud has normals some of the algorithms, like for example the Poisson, it tries to like estimate or like estimate normals on top of our uh, surface or like for all the points in our point cloud. 
but at the end of the video here i'm going to show you and also in, a, in another video i've already done that in this open 3d tutorial where we're trying to estimate normals to all the points that we have in our point cloud basically we're just taking each of the individual points trying to create a surface and then we're then we're just uh, like calculating the normal or estimating the normal to each of the individual points so normal is basically just like um a vector that is perpendicular to the surface of a point in our point cloud so this method here assumes that all the points in our point cloud um, has normals already estimated if they don't have it we can estimate it here with om3d functions as i just mentioned so here we're just going to run through the examples we're going to create uh, our body mesh here again with now 3000 points we're going to run the block of code so now we can see we have 3000 points here in our bunny point cloud and then the idea here is actually like to drop a ball here into a point cloud if it doesn't go through these three points here then we will create a surface or like a triangle um, for these three points so now we have a bunny point cloud here and then we can go down and actually like use this create from point cloud ball pivoting method method here and then we just pass in the point cloud and then we pass in the double vector here of our radiuses so these are the four different kind of radiuses that we want to use uh, for acts like doing this ball pivoting method. So we're just going to run this block of code. You can see that you can just go into open 3D, geometry, triangle mesh, and then we can just use these implemented algorithms here directly. So here, shift enter, we'll run the program, and now we act like doing this surface reconstruction. This is a really nice example, and we can see how, how good it acts like does surface reconstruction on all the points. So basically here we have three points we're dropping a ball it doesn't fall through with some uh, with some ranges then we're just drawing a triangle here as a surface uh, if it doesn't go through if we for example took like this point this point and this point then if we hit a ball or like drop a ball on top of that it will actually like fall through so that is why we don't have a triangle like um defined by these three points here because the ranges or like the ranges was too small if we have a larger radius and our points is actually like further away from each other then we will just get like we won't get we will get more smooth and result but we won't get any of the details here that we have so the smaller or like the denser our point clouds are and the, the smaller our ball radius is is too like the more details we will get here in the point cloud um, as we can see so the last example here that i'm going to go through is the poisson surface reconstruction and as we can see down here, it just solves a regularized optimization problem, as I said in the start of the video, to obtain a smooth surface. For this reason, uh, for this reason here, Poisson surface reconstruction can be preferable to the, men uh, to the met methods mentioned above. So actually, this is the, one of the newest methods here. It's, it is still only from like 2006, but it's still really good to use to actually do surface reconstruction. And it's way, like, way more, um, it's actually better and just more preferable than the two other methods, as they also mentioned here uh, by OpenFreeD. And they are going to produce non-smooth results since the point in the point cloud are also vertices of the resulting triangle mesh without any modification. So here we can just see that this function here implements the method, which is just a wrapper of the code here from this link. An important parameter of the function is the depth that defines the depth of the arc tree used for surface reconstruction and hence implies that the resolution of the resulting triangle mesh. A higher depth value means a mesh with more details. So the larger we just increase our depth value here too, the more details we will get, but we'll also get like longer computational cost uh, and time and so on. But also here we can see that we can use this arc, arc tree here, which is basically just a tree that is implemented with uh, with eight uh, nodes or like eight uh, eight child nodes. And then we can see here that this uh, algorithm here also assumes that it has normals. I'll just go down to the bottom here in case you have a point cloud where you haven't estimated normals. And you can either go watch the other video or you can just go down here and see how we can estimate the normals. But here again, we're just going to take the, the, bun the bunny mesh that we're going to do sample some points and then we're actually like going to draw um, the actual like uh, the, the estimated normals so to estimate the normals we actually like just go down here and then we can just call estimate normals on top of our point cloud and then it will just store the normals together with the points and also the rgb colors for our point clouds so everything is actually just stored in a data structure and then uh, all the algorithms here implemented in open3d will just go in grab that information from the data structure and then use it in the implemented algorithms the last one here is basically just we can orient the normals and consistent to a tangent tangent plane so this is basically just like a better solution or like we can get oriented um normals 
to all the points. We can see here that we can't really see any differences, but you should actually use the, the bottom function here um, in case that your point in your point cloud uh, don't have normals. So if we just go up here again to our Poisson, uh, Poisson service reconstruction, then we're going to get the Eagle PCD, and then we're going to, as I showed you in the start in the start slide in this video, we're going to take the Eagle Eagle point cloud. We see the points here. I'll just hit uh, minus here a bit so we actually get a like not that dense point clouds but we see all the points here is actually like a really detailed point cloud here of the eagle we see all the points that we have but now we only have the points we don't have any information about how, like the surfaces of those points but now we want to apply surface reconstruction to actually like make this here to like some kind of 3d model so let's say you want to create 3d models in your program you'll just have point clouds of an object that you can capture by like um, a depth sensors, camera, uh, multi-view geometry, like stereo vision as we've done throughout this uh, tutorial here as well. But here we just have all these points and then we want to do surface reconstruction with the Poisson um, reconstruction, surface reconstruction method. So down here again, we can just call the method create from point cloud Poisson. Then we just specify the depth. This is the only parameter that we need to specify. When we run the blob code here, it will apply the algorithm and do uh, surface reconstruction on top of our eagle point cloud so we see that it takes a bit longer to actually like, do this Poisson um, reconstruction here and also because we have a lot more points in our point cloud but here we can see but here we can see the, all the different kind of details here this is act like a really good uh, surface reconstruction of our point cloud we can see all the details here in the eagle and this act like looks like a really good 3d model just from our objects um, that we had in our like our points that we have had in our point cloud it acts like tries to estimate so if there is some space between the points it acts like tries to estimate it or interpolate between those points so that's why we get some blurry points down here at the bottom it tries to um, interpolate those and also here in the middle between its legs it also tries to interpolate the point and then we lose some kind of information we don't have as as many details because we're doing interpolation but we can actually just create some different kind of like threshold values so we can look at the intensity how detailed are these points here actually and if they're lower than some intensity threshold then we can actually just remove those points so we just have a really nice reconstructed uh, surface here of our point cloud and to do that we can scroll down here at the bottom we're just going to run this blob code here but basically um, here we can see that that it also creates triangles in area of low point density and e even like extrapolates in, into some areas so it's basically just doing point uh, point interpolation or like extrapolation um, but here we can see that this function here it has these densities so it has a return value with the densities and then we can use that to set up some threshold and if it's lower than that threshold we'll just like skip all those triangles created with the surface reconstruction or like the Poisson surface reconstruction so we're going to run this blob code here if it's lower than some threshold value here it's basically just for visualizing the intensities of uh, of the points or like of the reconstructed uh, triangles of our points so down here at the bottom we, we saw that it is actually like really blurry down here at the bottom so the intensity here is very low and we can also see as i said between the legs here we're trying to like interpolate because we don't have that much information we don't have that many details um, of our point cloud here in between so we're just trying to estimate it but now we can actually go down look at these intensities and then we can set up a threshold for that so here we just have our densities and then we're just going to take a quantile here of our distribution if it's lower than that we'll just remove the vertices and then we'll get a really nice smooth surface reconstruction with our person method so here again we're just going to set up the threshold we remove all the vertices by a mask so this will actually just return a mask of our threshold values and then we're just going to return those vertices and then we'll have our ending mesh and then we're just going to display it down here at the bottom or draw the geometries so this is the last block code here that we're going to run and then we can see we've removed all the different kind of vertices or like um all the triangles here down at the bottom and also in between the legs here and also up here at the mouth region we can try to play around with the threshold value and so on you can also go with the other model but now we can see that we start with a point cloud we didn't have any surfaces and so on but now we can actually like reconstruct the surfaces by just using two algorithms or like one algorithm here from OMVD. It's basically just one line of code. You load in your point cloud, do surface normal estimation if the if if the point cloud doesn't have act like 
if they're not with surface normal estimation from the start, these point, point clouds here are just examples from Open3D, so they act like half the normals estimated. But if you have your own point cloud, load it in, estimate the normal, do surface reconstruction here with Poisson. You can try to play around with the threshold value here for the intensities, or you can just go with the first one. And then you can actually just export it here, and then you have created this really nice detailed 3D model with a surface from Open3D here. So thank you guys for watching this video here and remember the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. And also like this video here if you like the content and want more in the future. It just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm currently also doing this computer vision tutorial where we're talking about basic image operations, um, camera calibration, how we can use stereo vision to get depth information in the image. And then we're actually like combining that with uh, with point clouds. So we're going to create our own point clouds with stereo vision. And we have actually like done that in, video, in those videos. So if you're interested in that tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else I'll see you next week, guys. Bye for now.